Millions of Americans will start getting direct payments worth at least $200 this week, with some qualifying for as much as $1,050. Various states across the country are offering residents relief payments this fall. Millions of Americans will receive rebate checks from their states this month in an effort to offset the negative impact of inflation. Hello everyone, welcome back with another video from Money Pro. This is your fourth stimulus check update and daily news report. I hope you all having a wonderful day. $600? Nope, it's not enough. So in a moment, I will move to have the Senate take up the House bill to increase that number to $2,000, which I might add had broad bipartisan support. I don't want to hear that we can't afford it. I don't want to hear that it would add too much to the deficit. Senate Republicans added nearly $2 trillion to the deficit to give corporations a massive tax cut. Republicans just fought to include a tax break for three martini lunches in the COVID relief bill. So I don't want to hear it that it costs too much to help working families get a check when they're struggling to keep their jobs, pay their families, uh, pay their rent, feed their families, and live a halfway normal and decent life. Even in our deeply divided times, Madam President, this issue has united Americans from coast to coast and bridged the massive political divide here in Washington. A vast majority of the public, Republican and Democrat, strongly support $2,000 checks. An overwhelming bipartisan majority in the House supports 2,000 checks. Senate Democrats strongly support $2,000 checks, even President Trump supports $2,000 checks. There's one question left today. Do Senate Republicans join with the rest of America in supporting $2,000 checks? Now, some of my Republican colleagues have said they support the checks, but there's a major difference in saying you support $2,000 checks and fighting to put them into law. The House bill is the only way, the only way to deliver these stimulus checks before the end of session. Will Senate Republicans fight for a vote on the House-passed Cash Act? Or will they look some other way? Will Senate Republicans stand against the House of Representatives, the Democratic majority in the Senate, and the president of their own party to prevent these $2,000 checks from going out the door? We're about to get the answers to these questions. So now, Mr. Madam, uh, Madam President, I ask consent to set the NDAA, no, sorry. Madam President, where am I? Would the Senator modify his request to include a unanimous consent request that the, uh, you, to include unanimous consent that the Senate proceed to the immediate consideration of H.R. 9051, a bill received from the House to increase recovery rebate amounts to $2,000 per individual, that the bill be read a third time and passed, the motion to reconsider be considered made and laid upon the table with no intervening action or debate. Millions of Americans will start getting direct payments worth at least $200 this week, with some qualifying for as much as $1,050. Over the summer, Governor Gavin Newsom of California signed a $308 billion budget into law that included tax rebates for Americans. The direct payments will start going out to an estimated 23 million Americans this week and will be issued in multiple batches. The first group getting cash will be residents who got the first or second round of the Golden State Stimulus Payments via direct deposit. Those Californians will see payments hit their accounts from October 7th to October 25th. The rest of the direct deposit payments will then go out from October 28th to November 14th. Those who are not set up for direct deposit and got Golden State stimulus payments by debit card last year will receive debit cards in the mail between October 25th and December 10th. The rebates are worth between $200 and $1,050. To qualify, you must have filed your 2020 tax return by October 15, 2021 and must have not been claimed as a dependent during that year. 
Additionally, you must have been a California resident for at least six months during the 2020 tax year, with income not exceeding $250,000 or $500,000 for single and couples respectively. Various states across the country are offering residents relief payments this fall. While the federal government has balked at approving another nationwide stimulus check, several states still have plans in place to send direct payments to residents this year. More than a dozen states approved some form of relief packages for their residents this year in the face of record high inflation. In addition to rebates and stimulus checks, certain states chose to provide relief by expanding tax credits. In June, Governor Mike Dunleavy signed a bill into law that allows Alaskans to pocket $3,280. This is in a combination of energy relief payments along with the state's permanent fund dividend. The permanent fund dividend pays an amount of the state's oil wealth to residents each year. They should start arriving by today. Meanwhile, paper checks will be sent out during the week of October 6. California Governor Gavin Newsom signed the state's budget in June, which included $17 billion worth of inflation relief in form of tax rebates. Roughly 23 million people are in line for payments of $200 to $1,050. Governor Kathy Hochul announced on September 8 that eligible New Yorkers could receive up to $270 in a new direct payment. Checks will include one or both payments and the minimum amount issued is $25. Eligible New Yorkers will be mailed their checks automatically. Those who qualify can expect to receive their checks on or by October 31st. The Virginia General Assembly has approved a tax rebate for eligible residents. All rebates will be sent by October 17th, with all eligible Virginians set to receive the cash by October 31st, according to the state's tax department. Individual taxpayers will be eligible to get a payment worth up to $250. Meanwhile, couples who file their taxes together can receive a payment worth up to $500. Some Minnesota residents could be getting rebates of more than $3,300. That's the end of today's video. I will see you guys in the next video.